Hey, it's John the Net Guy, and today we're gonna find out which is the fastest of these six top rated micro SD cards. Stick around and find out. From SanDisk, one of my favorite brands of cards. This is their extreme version. So that's my new untitled card. So it does come pre-formatted. So we are getting 95 megabytes per second write speed. Uh, which it offered a write speed of 90 megabytes consistently per second. So not only is the Lexar card holding up with this, it's actually meeting based on the uh, card manufacturer's benchmark here. So it said it's going to be up to 90. Now from a read speed, it said up to 190 megabytes read. We'll pull up the stats and see what the uh, rating requires, but the U3 rating and some of these other ratings are going to have a specific amount of write speed that it's going to need. The write speed of 96 and a read speed of 160. From Samsung, this is also 128 gigabytes. This is their Evo Select line. So the write speed is definitely slower. The other one was starting around the 90s range. This one's around the 60 range said a transfer rate of up to 130. Well, it's got 124 there, 125. This is gonna get 61 and 124 we'll give it. But that is Samsung Evo Select. So maybe you're just looking to, to put very large memory cards in your wise cameras, or you've got a bunch of devices, maybe kids' tablets. You wanna add 128 gigabytes by three. So you get three different cards in this package from Lexar. The write speed is already doing pretty well. It's putting work in here. I like that. So first test on the write speed is looking good. It is 83.2. So it's landing somewhere in between our first and our second place. Looks like 81 is what we're gonna call that. So it's got an 81 megabyte write and the read speed, now that's the lowest read speed that we've seen, isn't it? Slowest performance so far, but that's 91 on the read. And 91, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe someday when we come back here, my editor will uh, level these all out, but they're staying within a pretty tight range here. So this one looking between 75 and 81 and pretty consistently in that 90 megabytes per second. Now this was again from Lexar. This one is from Amazon Basics. It's 128 gigabyte. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and we're coming in at 83 right out of the gate. So very cool. So this came in at 81.8 and 90. So 81.8 gives it an 82. And we're gonna say 90, cause we're gonna upgrade that. And this is the Amazon Basics. We got a 90.5, which actually does bring it up to 91. So we're doing best of, looks like three writes here and best of three reads. Super consistent on it. Um, within two megabytes there on the write and within a meg or two on the read um, for the Amazon Basics. It's pretty cool. Amazon Basics slots into second place with an 82 megabyte write speed. And then the uh, read speed was 91. So this is from another popular manufacturer, SanDisk, their high endurance one. It said up to 40, <laughs> but it's already pushing 121 megabytes. So the high endurance card is getting one of the fastest write speeds that we've seen all day this is pretty cool and this is coming through the lexar card reader the read speed coming in at 150 megabytes i don't have other storage hooked up to this so I, this is way beyond what was expected here in our testing an incredible performance here on this high endurance card uh, maybe it's the combination maybe it's maybelline you guys wouldn't get that uh, <laughs> 160, so very consistently fast on this one. I'm gonna stop it there. So we've got a new leader. This is the 256 gigabyte high endurance card from SanDisk. That is gonna blow my mind here. Well, it did 132 write and 161 read. The Samsung Evo Select right here. That is what she looks like. And we are going to kick off the last speed test of this round we're gonna hit start test and 
We're coming out of the gate at 113 megabytes per second. So not blowing the doors off uh, the other ones that we've seen today, but still a decent showing. And for your standard 4K drone or uh, footage for your DSLR, things like that, this is gonna work great. So you can look in here, this is gonna handle up to 4K, 8K if you're doing H.265 compression. If you're doing raw footage and other stuff, you're looking at 1080, but most things do some sort of compression higher than ProRes. So 107.7, this will be 108 and 148. So uh, kind of a middle of the pack showing. So this is the 512 Evo. It's not SSD speeds, but it's not slow. Like that's very reasonable. So the Samsung, we said, I'm gonna give it the best benefit of the doubt. We said it did 112 megabytes right. And then it did 148 read. I'm gonna give it again, benefit of the doubt. We're going on the highest numbers that we got here. So we know that the high endurance SanDisk did some of the best numbers we've seen in all of these cards. It's affordable, waterproof, temperature proof, shock proof, x-ray proof, and all around a great type of card to pick up. I've been highly impressed with this one. Not to be outdone, the Samsung 512 came in with some impressive numbers on its own, and it's the largest and most expensive card out of the group. But overall, if you're looking at just the 128 gigs, the SanDisk Extreme has the best read and write numbers overall of all of the cards. The next would be the Value series from Amazon Basics and Lexar, and coming in at a snail's pace for a write speed was the Samsung 128. I would stay away from that card specifically. Maybe I just got a bad one. But thank you guys for watching and thank you for making it possible for me to put these kind of shows together. I do this every week on Tuesday. If you wanna check in, we check different tech tools and home automation products. This has been John the Net Guy. Thanks for watching.